Hello everyone, welcome to our series on Gatsby JS. I am Sandy and today we'll begin our YouTube journey with a powerful and modern web framework called Gatsby JS. We'll start by understanding the basics of Gatsby JS. In this video, we'll learn what is Gatsby JS, why should we use it, and what exactly is a static site generation. So let's dive right in. Gatsby.js is an open source and modern website framework that allows developers to build fast, SEO-friendly, and secure websites. It uses powerful pre-configuration to build a website that uses only static files for incredibly fast page loads. Gatsby has many advantages over tra traditional web development stacks, and I've picked five of them for you. Performance, security, scalability, development experience, and rich plugin ecosystem. Let's start with performance. Gatsby sites are lightning fast. They're built with speed in mind from the get-go, creating a great user experience. When users visit Gatsby website, they are served with pre-compiled static HTML files. Gatsby.js takes your data from different sources, renders it using React components, and then outputs a static HTML page that can be easily accessed by users. This process is what makes Gatsby sites extremely fast and efficient. In this diagram, you can see how Gatsby traditional web development stacks work. When you visit a website that is built using traditional web development stack, the server fetches data from third-party sources or uh, such as DB, uh, a DBMS, database man management system, or a third-party API. So it takes longer for the server to respond to the user request because it takes time for the server to fetch data from these sources. That is not the case with Gatsby framework. When you visit a Gatsby.js website, it ships only static HTML page. So this static HTML page was prepared or compiled during the deployment of the website. It does not mean that the website or Gatsby.js websites cannot fetch data from different sources. In this diagram, we can understand how Gatsby.js fetches data from different sources. You can fetch data from multiple sources and all of this fetching will happen during the deployment of the website and the web server will fetch data and create static HTML files which later on Gatsby.js will serve to the users as a static HTML pages. And that's why the response from the Gatsby.js sites is extremely fast. If you want to see how a Gatsby.js website loads, you can visit Gatsby.js showcase and you can find hundreds of websites that, that have been built using Gatsby.js. For example, you have Upkeep, Calendly, you have Retool, you have so many popular websites uh, such as PayPal Developer Documentation built using Gatsby.js. So you can visit these websites, you have National Geographic website built using Gatsby.js and you can open these websites in incognito window and see how these uh, websites load, how fast these websites load. And if you have been developing web applications, you know how important is the core web vitals of your website. It's important for us to maintain core web vitals of our website because it has become one of the main uh, factors in uh, ranking your website in the top search results. The second reason why I think Gatsby.js is way better than traditional frameworks is because of security. Gatsby.js sites are static files and they are served with over a CDN so it reduces the surface area of attack. The third reason is the scalability. A static files can be scaled up quickly and can handle high volume of traffic. Fourth is the developer experience. Gatsby is built using modern technologies like React, Webpack, and GraphQL. The combination gives you an excellent developer experience. All these technologies are popular and has large communities to help new developers. Last but not least is the rich plugin ecosystem. Now, Gatsby offers a rich plugin ecosystem that allows you to pull in data from virtually any source. Let me show you Gatsby's plugin library. In the Plugin library, there are hundreds of plugins available for all sort of causes. We have plugins to add analytics, fetch data from different CMSs such as WordPress, plugin to add a sitemap and schema to improve sites SEO, and plugins such as Emotion, Style Components, SaaS to design and enhance sites user interface, and so on. And each of these plugins has an extensive documentation which you can use to easily integrate the plugin in your website. I have mentioned multiple times about static site generation, but that would rather be unfair 
if Gatsby could only generate static files. Because at times we need some dynamic pages or certain dynamic components on some pages. So Gatsby supports server side rendering as well as client side rendering just as other popular React frameworks do. The good thing about Gatsby is that the team released two major features in Gatsby 5.0 that are worth talking about. The first one is the partial hydration and the second one is the slices API. In simple terms, partial hydration is an optimization technique that allows developers to ship static components earlier. This helps to significantly improve the time to first interaction on the Gatsby side. Normally in a client side React app, the entire app is hydrated into interactive elements after loading. However, with partial hydration, only the necessary or above the fold components are hydrated, while the rest of the page can be statically served. This means that users can start interacting with visible elements on the page much faster while the rest of the components are still being prepared. This is why you notice Gatsby sites load much faster even though they may not be 100% static. In this diagram, we can understand partial hydration. As you can see, this page is compiled using multiple static and dynamic components. When you visit a website like this, the static components will appear first and the dynamic component will appear later. So loading of the static components earlier will improve your site's performance. It will make the sites interactive earlier. That will improve time to first interaction score on your Gatsby site. The second major addition in Gatsby JS 5.0 is the Slices API. This one was one of my favorites from this release. The Slices API allows developers to decrease their app's build time massively by only compiling the components that changed. Earlier in Gatsby JS, every time a change was made, the entire app needed to be rebuilt, which could take a significant amount of time for larger applications. With the new Slices API, Gatsby will only rebuild the parts of the app that have changed, leading to a much quicker build time and a smoother developer experience. This is particularly beneficial for larger sites with lots of content or components. So that's our intro to Gatsby JS. In the next video, we'll be diving into setting up our development environment and creating our first Gatsby site. Thanks for watching and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of our future videos. Also, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. I'll do my best to answer them all. Until next time, happy coding.